lovely star shine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hi, and welcome to Handmade by Dixie Tulip. I'm Mel, and thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm just going to share what I've been working on over the past couple of weeks. One of which that I'm going to tell you about first of all is the top that I'm wearing but then I'm also going to give you an update on the sequin project so I'll share with you where I'm up to so far on that and then also another little mini dress that I've made but this time including some hand embroidery. So if you're interested in that then do watch on. One thing I want to mention first of all as I just want to say a huge thank you to anybody who has supported over on my Ko-fi page. Um, if you've not seen that already, um, Ko-fi is where you can go and visit my page and I share lots of stuff um, which is entirely free. So the photos from each of the videos that are complete, you can go and head over and look at it, those on there without supporting in um, any way at all in a monetary form. Um, but then in addition to that, if it is that you do want to support my goal, which I'll explain in a moment, um, you can buy me a coffee, but it actually isn't a coffee at all. It's to put towards my new computer. So my computer is very old. It's I thought it was eight, but actually I've checked it's nine years old. Um, and although it still works, I can still browse the internet and things like that. It, it's not possible to run any editing software. So for example, the Adobe software that I'd like to use to be able to make better videos and photos and things like that. Um, it, it can no longer handle those types of things. So that's my goal. I'm saving up to replace the computer and I'm absolutely over the moon with the level of support that I've received. So thank you very much. What I've decided to do this time, I wanted to give something back a little bit in return um, and I've been thinking about what can I give back when I haven't got the use of my computer so that's kind of limiting me in being able to make um, specific things that I'd like to share um, but I do love photography and I've got some photos that I've taken in the past and um, I've also got um, a digital camera um, and I can do editing on my uh, iPad and my phone. So what I thought I would do this week is share a lovely photo that I've taken some time back. It's one of my favourite photos and I use it on my website. Um, I'll put a, pop a picture in to um, show you I use it as a screensaver on my computer and my iPad um, and obviously you could also print it and display it in your sewing room and it's my lovely vintage stockman mannequin and some very happy sunflowers. So if, it, if you do um, want to support this week, you'll be able to access that photograph and you'll be able to download a high res version that you can use for your own um, personal use, however you like, whether it be um, on social media or your um, background cover for your computer or print it off in your sewing room. It's entirely up to you. So do head over to the Ko-fi page. Um, if you want to support um, in, a, in a monetary form, then um, fantastic. It'll help me to get that computer so I can bring you better content. Um, but also, if you're not able to um, support, you can still head over there and there'll be lots of things that you can see with, without um, supporting in a monetary form. So let me crack on and tell you what I have made this week. So the top that I'm wearing, this was one of the fabrics that I got for my latest Minerva.com blogger network posts. It's a stretch jacquard. Hopefully you can see there it's got quite a bit of stretch. And this gorgeous plum colour. So it's perfect for autumn. And it's got like little geometric oblongs. I don't know how, how, how else to describe them. Um, and what I decided to make is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater because I needed something that is really versatile, something that I can wear for work and dress it up a little bit, um, but something that I could easily wear with jeans and things like that at the weekend as well. And I've made a couple of versions of the Southbank sweater and it fits really well. It's super quick and easy to make. Um, literally perhaps two hours from cutting out the fabric um, and making the whole thing. It might not even have taken that long. Um, and I'm really happy with how it came out. I have written a blog post for Minerva um, and in that I've shared 
one top six ways so this top styled in six different ways with other handmade garments so what I'll do over on the Kofi page is I'll insert those photos so you can head over and look at this styled in different ways um, and you don't you don't need to um, support in a, in, a, in a monetary form to see those photos of course unless you want to um, so do head over and look at that so um yeah it, it was a really simple make i stitched it mainly together with the overlocker so that's why it was so quick because it just whizzed through the hems i did on my standard machine but i couldn't find my twin needle so what i decided to do is use the stretch stitch on my machine with one needle the stretch stitch is the one that looks a little bit like a lightning bolt and you can see there it's perfectly hemmed it but there's still loads of stretch so um, that worked out really well one thing that was a bit weird with the fabric the stretch so it's got plenty of stretch ran in the opposite direction to what i expected so picture the fabric with the salvages either side it hadn't got any stretch that way but it had got loads of stretch that way um, I can never remember the proper terminology for wefts and warps and all that. So it's just been, if you do like this fabric and you want to use it yourself, it's just being mindful to make sure that if you're making a garment that requires stretch, that you're placing the patterns in the right direction of what where the stretch is rather than where the selvage is run like you would with a normal woven fabric. Um, but yeah, this has worked out really, really well. For the south bank i think it um it's got a nice amount of stretch but it's got great recovery so it doesn't get left um saggy and it's super comfortable so that's my first make the second thing i want to just update you on is how i'm getting on with the sequin project so i finally finished the sequin removal on the seams and I'll show you the seams in a second it's made such a huge difference the only bit that I've not removed the sequins on yet is just on this side here you can see I've removed them ready for the collar on this side but I haven't removed them here because I wanted to decide what collar I'm going to make but really happy with how this is coming along um, I think it's going to be a super dressy garment but that i'll be able to use with so many different outfits like a little dress um, but also um, making jeans look a really fancy outfit as well so you can see i think i'm going to keep it more like a cardigan than a jacket so i'm not going to add the pockets because i don't want it to spoil the lovely shape of the chevrons on the front but if you can see the back it's got the sequins need rubbing the right way but at the back it's super sparkly and it's got the drop sleeves as well drop shoulder sleeves let me just show you the seams i'm going to come in close hopefully you can see there the seams are so much better now that i've removed the sequins it lays so much flatter there's no bulk you can see there's still an odd few sequins that I wasn't able to remove because they'd been stitched a little bit um, wonky they weren't stitched to the hole they were stitched over the sequin um, and you can so you can see there there's a little batch of sequins that I wasn't able to remove but in the hole I've removed them um, and it's just made it so much neater let me show you here And they just lay nice and flat and looking on the outside hopefully you can see I haven't ended up with too many bald patches that I'll need to fill in looking at the shoulder area so yeah just so so much smoother so I'm really happy with how this has come along so far I just now need to make the decision on what I'm going to do for the collar 
I do think I'm going to go for a solid collar option um, and I need to decide whether I'm going to go velvet or silk. I'm thinking I may go for silk dupion to keep the jacket really special. I may even line it in silk. It depends on how costly that would work out to be. But I really need to decide what colour to go for. I was thinking of maybe a metallic gold silk dupion as the collar. Um, but let me know what you think. What colour do you think would work best? I, all the way along I thought black. But I'm not sure if black is going to be too harsh. And that would take away from the beautiful sequins. So yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Which colour you would go for on the collar. The final thing I want to share with you is another mini dress. So um, this is on a Blythe doll and it is a Liberty of London bodice with a plain cotton skirt that I've added some sweet little floral embroidery to, um, hand embroidery. So I'm just going to bring this in closer and show you. So you can see there is the Liberty of London bodice with a cute skirt and some sweet little embroidered flowers. So yeah, another little mini dress to add to the collection. I do really enjoy making these and it just feels so good being able to use up the fabric scraps in um, a way that makes something really pretty. And for the hand embroidery, that was super useful because I, was going, I went away with work for a few days um, and I was able to just shove a bit of fabric and some embroidery threads in um, my suitcase and took it with me so when I was in the hotel room at night I was able to sit there and do something productive. So yeah that was super sweet. So that's it, that's all I wanted to share today. Do let me know in the comments what you think in relation to the collar on the sequin cardigan slash jacket. Um, what do you think that maybe the silk dupion would be the best bet and what colour do you think would work best with um, the colours that are in the jacket um, and head over to the Kofi page to either view this top being worn in six different ways or if you do want to support in a monetary form you'll be able to have access to that lovely um, stockman mannequin and sunflower photo to use as you wish. So have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to, and I will see you very soon. Bye. All my dreams are coming. All my dreams are humming. All my dreams are.